I all right. Well, I'm at work. Uh, on the go review. Uh, I watched Suicide Squad. Um, it was good. I I had no idea about it. Like as far as like preconceived notions about it. Um, I just thought it was just gonna be a fun movie. It's James Gunn. You already know what to expect from him at this point. Um, but it was fun. It was a really fun movie. Um, definitely one of the most fun superhero movies I've seen. Um, you can tell he's, he was really holding back in Guardians because he just let loose the amount of blood and um, violence would make Tarantino proud. Um, but uh, let's just go through the characters. I th well, it's just Alba killed it. Uh, I don't think I've seen him in a bad thing in a while. Uh, Idris Alba was the star of the movie to me, which is, you know, he was the leader. Um, there was only one scene with him and um, Viola Davis, but, ooh, that scene gave me chills, man. Like, see them acting, and he finna, like, he finna, he had the pin to her throat, whatever it was, and she yelling her squad to stand down. Oh, my God. And then, um, but he was a beast story as to the whole movie. Um, I definitely think he's better than Will Smith's Deadshot. So, you know, not too many people say they bested Will Smith in acting. Like, it was good. It was the same, same premise. Like, he's doing this for his daughter. You know, but it's just, it's different though. It's weird, but it's different. Um, I feel like at this point, it's Harley Quinn and Ninja. Like, it's, it's Harley Quinn and Ninja because let me get a different backdrop because that looked funny. Because, like, she doing flips. She running on walls. Um, she doing javelin, like Aquaman. Like, she she doing, like, a lot of stuff for someone who's just known for just punching and hitting people with hammers. Like, what the hell? She has, like, she... She got a hell of a Zenkai boost. Because uh, lately she just been like on some ninja stuff. And so I'm just like, whatever. And you can't question it because people say, well, it's a comic book. So what do you expect? I mean, she don't do this in the comics. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. Um, I thought John Cena was good. You know, I have issues with him because he's a carbon copy of The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. But I think he's found a place and it's weird but like he's definitely found a place and he's like really in his niche like he's not afraid to like play a bad guy and the rock is just now about to play a bad guy but everything i've seen john cena in is like he's like uh ethically ambiguous like he's a good guy playing the bad guy bad guy playing a good you know um but he was good. Like, he killed it. He has some funny moments, too. And what is up with him and always talking about booty holes? Like, what is up with that? Like, every role, he's always talking about butts. Um, uh, King Shark was... Oh, dude was funny. I didn't expect him to be um, mentally slow. But he was dude, He was hilarious, though. Like, I'm not even saying a lot. Like, he, he was hilarious. Um, definitely a scene stealer when he was in it. Um... I think you can tell like um, James Gunn is a Rick and Morty fan because of that the face huggers dude instantly was like yo this is Rick and Morty um but yeah like I'm not, I don't doubt that that's Star Wars ability because I don't know nothing about Star Wars but just watching it this is that was like dude this is dead ass Rick and Morty <laughs> this is Rick and Morty um but yeah, like it was good. Like, like I said, it was a fun movie. It's two hours. You don't even notice it, honestly. It kind well, it kind of lags at some parts, but you don't notice it. Like I don't get what they were trying to go for with Harley Quinn and like her talking scenes. But like, the jokes just didn't hit for me. I feel like she was way more organic in the first Suicide Squad movie, and like in Birds of Prey. But in this one, it's like she felt off. Um, it's like every time she talking, like, dude, shut up. Like, <laughs> you're not even saying anything funny. You're not even being like weird or nothing. You're just wasting space right now. But, um, 
But yeah, I'm trying to think the other characters. Like, everyone had their place. Dude, trigger warning for anybody who don't know about what's happening in the movie. Because I definitely needed one. Because, bro, there are a insane amount of rats in this movie. And I just like blood sport as a serious phobia of rats. And I had no idea that there were going to be rats in this movie. And like, we're not talking about one or two. There's one constantly in it, though. But, bro, there's like millions, if not billions of rats that will appear on the screen. So this is just a warning for people. Because I wish I had that same warning. I, I honestly, I almost cut it off. Like, I almost cut the movie off. Because I, I can't. Like, I can't. And then to hear them, and then to assume what they feel. Oh, my God. I. <clears throat> but, yeah. That'll do it for this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Suicide Squad. It was amazing. Like, I'm going to watch it again. Like, I got to watch it again. Um, I'm trying to think if I saw anything else. But not really. I know... Uh, Kanye Donda was on pre-order. They talk about the six, but it comes. It's on Apple iTunes. It says August 9th so which is like a Monday. So <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, that do it for this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back.